of the Honorable Member for Nanaimo, Lady Smith. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It's late in the season, and we're all tired, but for goodness sakes, like, how many more times are we going to hear a speech like that about feminism and lifting women up? It's embarrassing. The, the goodwill of this government, the words of this government, the words of this speech, yes, of course, but two and a half years later, it, it's 42 years ago that the previous Prime Minister Trudeau said we're going to implement pay equity. 42 years ago. It still hasn't happened. There are zero dollars in this budget to implement pay equity. So, you know, my colleague across the way can say, till she's blue in the face, how important it is. Why doesn't her government do it? They have a majority. They have the mandate. They have the words. They have no concomitant action. Uh, they say, yes, now we're putting in this great new parental leave benefit. Well, six in ten workers in Canada does not qualify for unemployment insurance. So fix EI. Do something with the power that you have and fund it in the budget. This is all rhetoric. It's all flowery words. And I so wish that you would just get on with it in the year and a half you have in your mandate and to put some action in place for feminism. The Honourable Member for Mississauga, Erin Mills. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And I really thank the member across the way for her very uh, passionate question and, and for all of her advocacy on this very important file. Mr. Speaker, as I mentioned in my speech, I initiated uh, a women's council, uh, 12 very dynamic women in my riding, uh, one of whom is over 70 years of age. And uh, she said to me one day as we were having a meeting talking about these very same issues, she said, I can't believe that we are still having to, to talk about all of this, that we are still, uh, in her words, burning bras uh, to, uh, to really further the cause of feminism. And I think that with this government, this is the most um, significant steps that we've taken to acknowledge and to push forward uh, the, the feminist agenda. We're, we're educating women across the world, and women and girls. We're empowering them through, uh, through our entrepreneurship, through uh, initiatives, through lowering small business taxes, to ensuring that, uh, that, that we are working towards getting that pay equity. And, uh, and I encourage the, uh, the member across the way to keep up her advocacy. I know that our government and our Prime Minister will continue to advocate for all of these. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.